According to a new poll conducted by Harvard Harris, more than half of Americans say their financial situation is getting worse under Joe Biden. 56 percent to be exact. In 2021, that number was 33 percent. And in 2020, under Trump's presidency, a mere 20 percent agreed with that statement. That's a big change. And that was in 2020. We're talking pandemic time, remember? Well, I don't need to point out the obvious every single day that Biden is in office is another day that Americans' finances are getting worse. So joining us now is financial guru and founder of Rubin Wealth Advisors, Bob Rubin. Bob, always great to have you. Uh, they're going to fix inflation, Bob, with a bunch of taxing and spending. But the bill is so complicated that you're just going to have to pass it. And then you can find out what's in it. Just trust them. They're the government. They're here to help. We've seen this in Technicolor this week, right? You know, I love, I've learned over the years that whenever the Democrats call something, whatever that is, it's the opposite of that. So when they call it the <laughs> anti-inflation bill, you know this bill's causing inflation. I mean, how can you spend $363 billion on, you know, raising uh, you know, uh, on re basically lining the Democratic Friends green energy plan. They're going to actually raise taxes on oil and gas imports. Well, that's one of the biggest things that's causing inflation right now. But they're going to raise taxes on there. Eventually, that's going to come out in higher prices for gasoline. They're, they're extending Obamacare subsidies. They're spending all there's We have, like you said, we haven't even read the whole thing yet. There's all sorts of good little nuggets in there that increase inflation. So, it's the opposite of the anti-inflation bill. You can be assured of that. 